Welcome fellas, uh, Nice back here again on the 29th of December uh, I hope you all had a, a good Christmas Ours was so-so, uh, the whole family ended up getting ill on Christmas Day so that was a lot of fun Yeah. Anyway, this is mainly a video to talk about what I'm going to do for Kursk uh, and an inbox review of all the kits and bits and pieces I've got in front of me that I'm going to show you in a minute that I'm going to do for Kursk. The main part of the build is going to be Asagawa's uh, G2 Stuka. Okay, so this was flown by Hans Rundell, Rudell, however you pronounce it, uh, a bona fide Nazi who, even after the war, was trying to get the Nazi party. Uh, up and running again. Let's say. Let's say he was a uh, very, very far, far. Is it far right? Far right, whatever. He was uh, very, very far right. But he, he was one of the few Stuka uh, tank buster aces. Okay. Uh, as I'm going along through the build and what have you, I'll dig up some more detail about him and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to be the main build for that because the. Uh, the guns are going to be so uh, prominent on it and they're not drilled out or anything like that. I bought myself some uh, some barrels, so we'll have a look at those in a bit. To go with that, first for me is this little kit. Okay, so this has got seven figures in it. I'm not going to be using them all, I don't think. Uh, I will tell you more about the plan in a bit okay so we've got that and i've also got this little swing wagon if that's what you, how you pronounce it from tamia all in 48 okay so the plan the plan touch wood if i can is to build a diorama just a simple diorama with the aircraft some crew figures and, and what have you the swing wagon potentially in one corner but we're going to see how that goes all right i'm definitely gonna look at doing it it's how it's going to turn out is i don't know as yet because so i don't know how big the aircraft's going to be the size of a bit of wood i've got and all that sort of thing so it's going to be uh, a work in progress i've got an idea up here how i want it to look and how i'm hoping it's going to look is whether i have the skill to pull it off with being a first attempt okay so i've been talking to a lot of guys about uh figure painting and all that sort of stuff and I've a few videos of putting points in the right direction where I'm going to go. Well that being said let's take a look inside the boxes and actually at the kits themselves. So two minutes guys. So here we are then fellas just a quick look at the, uh, the kit itself. Uh, the G2 Stuka by Hasegawa. All right, a decent sized box with a few Plastic bruising, which we'll have a look in a minute. Let's start with the instructions. Just get the wire out of the way from the thing. Two minutes. Sorry, guys. Right. So, the Stuka. Okay. Normally, normally known as a, uh, a dive bomber uh, early in the war, uh, but it was also turned into a tank hunter. Okay, which explains everything we in these. Uh, this right up uh, with two 37 millimeter cannons underneath the wings in pods so we can have a look at the instructions starting with the uh, the cockpit as you see it's seats side walls all going together with the 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 7.92 machine guns for the rear uh, i'll be adding some uh, seat belts probably made up of uh, some foil I've got uh, which I'll show in the build moving on to the actual instrument panel putting a decal on it which I'll, I'll not be doing I'll be trying to pick those out onto the nose and the spinner and propeller again putting this part onto the actual uh, aircraft itself Moving on to the wing sections, attaching 
the fuselage to the wings and the wheels. And moving on to the radiators and all the dangly bits for the dive brakes. And then onto the gun pods, canopies, framings and all that sort of stuff. The sprue map, okay, and then the colour call outs in uh, Mr. Colour and uh, Mr. Hobby. And there we are, the actual paint, the markings on the back. I'll be using, hopefully, this set, okay, so hopefully these colours should match what it says on there. If not, I'll just pick out some other colours that I've got and go from there. So that's the instructions. Move on to some of the, the plastic parts, uh, starting with uh, sprue E, and uh, mainly dealing with the, the wheels, two part wheels as per norm. So the seam line B need talking sorting out. Uh, bombs which will not be used on this kit itself and the dive brakes okay so one part uh, next part we're talking looking at some of the props which I don't think we use these ones I think it's a different one we use uh, the exhaust very very fine but no uh, opening so I'll either have to have a look at drilling it out or not bother uh, depending and some other parts of it then we move on to the wing section which is uh, yeah the details okay some nice uh, recessed panel lines but no rivets now the Stuka was known to be quite a riveted bird so it's whether I decide to add some rivets using this, the trumpeter riveting tool. Oh, wrong one. It's falling apart on me now. There we are. Trumpeter riveting tool, which is quite an awkward tool to use, but we will see. And the main floor, if you could just look here. Now the G versions and an extended wing tip. Okay. So Hasegawa. I've just added an extra part in their moulds and as you can see they've not done a very good job some lovely ridges so I'm gonna have to deal with that and then rescribe the panel lines and all that sort of stuff brilliant and it's same on the bottom all right but again some nice detail with the uh, with the panel lines but very little riveting detail. Oops, onto the nose. As you can see, it's nice detail again. Radiator cover. The where, where the undercarriage attaches to the wings. Some nice detail all round. And then we move on to the tail wheel and the the bracing struts for the tail the seat a little bit of flash needs getting rid of that should take two minutes again really nicely done the uh, rear guns uh, i might see if i can replace those with some metal tubing or something like that okay again nice detail all around Second part of the same with the props and the exhaust onto the wheel uh, wheels and the guns. So you can see the uh, the undercarriage with the uh, rubber uh, sock, the compression part for when it landed, and then onto the main thing about this aircraft is the actual cannons. And as you can see, it's got the cannons sticking out. Well, if you look at that, okay, now. All well and good if uh, you've got a deep steady hand and whatever you can drill that out but then you've got no detail really to speak of on the actual muzzle. So I went out and got these two part muzzle and barrel sets. Okay so you can just see them there. 
all together like so and then when you look in the end you can see look at the detail that's not on there properly I've got to sort it out obviously but a lot an improvement a great improvement actually on the kit part so that's going to look really really nice when painted up and uh, and weathered and metalized and all that sort of stuff so yeah really really nice set that might add some extra detail onto the actual gun pods themselves i've seen some uh, decent photos of that same two sprues again and then onto the fuselage itself again some nice detail some decent uh, rivet detail again some panel lines some nice internal detail at the inside of the cockpit and on the instrument panel now the instructions call for using the decal over that what I'll be trying to do I'll be trying to pick that out uh, same with the the radio I believe on the rear for the observer I'm trying to pick that out with uh, paint and other bits and pieces which I'll show during the during the video video series I'm going to be doing on this uh, the seat itself for the observer yeah it looks very comfortable as always okay but yeah some nice detail all round the cockpit floor and the other side wall with the control yoke again some flash on there and the propeller blades I think that we're going to be using on this actual build so that's the plastic parts well the uh, grey plastic parts move on to the actual clear parts some nice clear parts main downside as we've I found with any Hasegawa kit there is no canopy framing the actual uh, race Bit is on the inside so what I'm looking at doing is getting some Monta Montex, Montox, however it's Montex, uh, mask set which has got the, uh, the canopy internal and external uh, mask for it plus because the decals aren't the best as you can see I'm going to look at getting, getting it so I can do the national markings. These decals I might be able to get away with the smaller ones for the stencils, but for the colours uh, and for the main markings, these ones also I'll be able to uh, mask off myself and paint. But the other ones, the uh, they're not the best uh, state, so I'll be looking to replace them with a mask set. So that's the actual main kit, the Stuka. Okay all sorted so we'll just pull that to one side and we'll have a look at this uh, set from ICM now I'm not uh, a figure person at all uh, I don't even put pilots in my aircraft so this for me is all new so model kit 4085 and it's ground crew and what looks like flying uh, pilots and what have you so what the aim is to use this guy this guy this guy and potentially one of these on the the dio i'm going to use this guy potentially sit him on the wing passing something down to him while he's looking at one of the wheels or something along that sort of line but yeah so that's that's the box art. In the box, very, very simple and straightforward. We've got instructions, colour call outs, model master, and A can. So, you know, I'll be able to use either or, or I'll just uh, convert them into paints I already own with the sprue mat, with all the parts, and then. The call outs and the part bits for the fellas the guys on the on the ground there we are I won't be using the dog so we'll have to have a see and what's what's what and then we move on to the actual 
plastic part. Which, me, like I said, don't know much about figures. They look brilliant to me. Okay, so I'll just show you the one of the faces. The hairs and what have you. going to take some clean up, obviously. We all the uh, the bodies, and arms, and a uh, fuel tank, and what have you. A normally a bag. So a nice, a nice set, nice and simple. Shouldn't be too easy to uh, uh, to put together and clean up. The hard bit for me is going to be actually painting them. So yeah, I've been watching a few videos and what have you. And I'm gonna look at them. So that's the figure set, and then after that we have the swing wagon from Tamiya. Tamiya. Now these were used as reconnaissance vehicles, so between 1942 and 1944. Um, so there's there is a likelihood that it would be used on the airfield and whatever between uh, between. Uh, the maybe the army commanders and the uh, commanders of the air force, you know, for or where to attack and all that sort of stuff. So again, we get the blurb about the vehicle itself, the colour calls out, call outs, always in in Tamiya, colour call outs, uh, both from spring 1944. But we'll have a look and see what we can uh, find out online. So then we move on to the lower hull and the front suspension, front and rear suspension. Well, to the putting the wheels on, into the cockpit, cockpit seating area, whatever you want to call it. Putting on to the the upper hull on and the uh, all the uh, tools and what have you. lights and then onto the clear pot uh, not the clear pots the clear pots and the canopy and then onto the last bit the uh what is that bit i don't know could be exhaust and the actual f uh, prop for when it goes in water so yeah nice little subject onto the actual parts themselves so Sprue A, we have the upper and lower hull, seating compartment with the skid plate, wheels, nice texture on the actual uh, canopy or roof or whatever you want to call it. It's nice detail on the wheels. They'll pick up some uh, dust and what have you. Onto the, the seats. Nice detail on there. Steering wheel and uh, propeller blade. Yeah, so a nice kit overall. So it should go together really well, as with any Tamiya, Tamiya kit. Uh, really looking forward to starting these. So yeah. So there we are, guys. That's the the kits I'm potentially going to be building for this group build uh, which I'm really looking forward to first time I've done a, a dio so why not you know what I mean uh, not first time I've done a little car I've done one recently and if anybody had watched my uh, end of year video you would have seen it under that I'm not really shouted about that I you know I I did it because so I didn't know how it was going to turn out and it was just done for, for somebody so yeah, so that's my build. Any any tips are actually welcome. Uh, I will be checking out a few YouTubers' videos on how to do figures and all that sort of stuff and, and what have you. And anything that I get for the project, uh, I'll put up on a obviously the Facebook page and all that sort of stuff. Talking about the Facebook page, uh, I don't know whether whether you know you've been on there and watched it 
and what have you. I have uh, created a a uh, album to put your finished works in. So when they're finished, yes, by all means, post them uh, in the, on the Facebook page. But if you could put up to four to five photos of the actual finished build, you know, the ones you're happiest with, we can then look at sorting those out for the end of, end of vid reveal. So we know, we haven't got to go chasing all around. We know where they are. If you're not on Facebook, you can send myself or Mike the your videos when you're finished. Okay, your videos. Your photos when you're finished. Again, so we can put them to one side. And then when the group build's finished, we can put them up uh, a final real reveal vid. Reason we're doing it from now until uh, July is because we want to honour those people, those fellas that died during the cursed uh, cursed battle. So instead of doing it from when the cursed battle started to when it, uh, until December, we decided we do it this way, and then we can release the video on the anniversary, the 75th anniversary of the actual curse build. Slightly different, I know, but that's why we wanted to to look at it and and uh, and run it. So yeah, uh, that's what that's what we're hoping anyway. Uh, we've had a loads of interest. Uh, again, all you guys on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind going across to post your videos of your build, your reviews, your anything interesting to do with Kursk in the Facebook page, then myself, Mike. And the other uh, guys can all watch along and follow your build. Same with any photos, you know, your photo builds, your descriptions, and all that sort of thing. If you can put them on a Facebook page, it'd be great. Okay. Um, if not, just make sure in your title of your video on YouTube, you put in Kursk 75th Anniversary GB somewhere. So we, if we follow you when it pops up we know it's what it's for if we don't follow you because we might not know who you are or anything like that because we've not been able to find you or wherever if it's in that we can go and do a search on youtube and it'll come up and we can find everybody's videos again i'd like to thank everybody that's taking part it means a lot to myself and mike uh, it's got a lot busier than what we thought so yeah, hopefully, hopefully touch wood, again, uh, it's going to be a fun, enjoyable build. We will not stand any, any arses, none whatsoever. If anything like that, we don't care. You'll just get kicked out and we'll block you. We, we haven't got an issue with that. We really haven't. We want this to be a fun build for everybody. Not just the guys taking part, but myself and Mike and the other admins. The whole reason we do this hobby is to have fun. If we're not having fun, what's the point? Now, myself and a few of us had a crappy 2017, so we want to start 2018 off the right way, especially with this build. So all we ask is that you enjoy yourself, have fun, and treat everybody with the respect they deserve. And if that's the case, you know it's going to be a fun build. Uh, we should have plenty of finish so until the next video guys stay safe and look forward to the first where we can all start and see you on the next video bye for now guys bye